Hi there. Greetings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much for listening. As you have seen, the title of this message is Rapture is About to Happen. I got this from a dream. I had this dream around mid-December 2023. I never thought I was ever going to have a rapture dream because I'm struggling a lot. Too many attacks, a lot of things are happening. But God is faithful. He always reminds us what is important so that we can shift our focus to him alone who is the author of life. In this dream I was standing somewhere, it looked like I was heading up and I was shouting, rapture is about to happen, rapture is about to happen. I remember saying that twice, first time, rapture is about to happen, second time, rapture is about to happen and I was shouting so loud to my surprise the point that I was I didn't see any people I didn't see anyone but I was shouting that rapture is about to happen but the message is this rapture is about to happen since I heard the triple six dream first what I don't know is this is the church going to be here until the triple six is made mandatory the system of buying and selling is made mandatory or the church is going to leave before they make it mandatory. That I don't know how it's going to happen. All I know is that the whole system of triple six, the buying and selling and the identity, everything is in place. As I said before, we are going to overcome this if we are born of spirit. If we are not born of spirit, it's going to be a very, very difficult ride. If we are born of spirit, we are going to know what's going to happen. And we are going to be comforted by the Holy Spirit as all these things unfold. We must pray to be one body in Christ Jesus. Jesus is coming to take a church, a holy church. Those who have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb, He is coming to take a spotless church. No wrinkles. No spots, no blemish. So we must wash our robes in the blood of the Lamb. We must wash our robes in the blood of Jesus Christ. And we must be born of spirit. The darkness is too thick. The moment you try to rise up, it's actually swallowing you down. It's pulling you down. It's pushing you down. The problem is that these days they are also humanade demons. You know, they are humanoid robots. They are humanoid demons these days. Those are the demons that are coming from the people who took Lucifer rays. And those are the ones that are fighting humanity. They are fighting the board of Christ, those who are trying to rise up. Those humanoid demons that are coming from humans, they are dead souls. Those are the ones that are really attacking the people. Besides the humanoid robots, demons, they are the same, it's the same demon, the Luciferase demon and the humanoid robot demon. All I can say is this, we must be born of spirit. We have to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to help us so that we can make it. He is the only one who can give us his spirit. Once we are born of spirit, it's easy, very easy. It doesn't take ages. What I've seen these days is that it depends with the environment that you live in, whom you interact with. Whom you talk to, if you are, I mean if you are struggling in spirit. If you are not struggling, you can talk to anybody because the light of Christ in you will keep shining as long as we keep on top of it. Let us get prepared. Rapture is about to happen. And I know a lot of people, they are waiting for this. I mean those, the board of Christ, those who really want to leave this place, those who are tired of what is happening around, those who know that things will not change for the better. They'll get worse. Only Jesus Christ can make us overcome it. So that means we're very close. As I said, I'm not sure. I don't know if the church is going to be here until they make the complete system of triple six mandatory. I don't know. But I pray that it will not happen that way. Let us ask God Almighty to help us to overcome what is coming. By the power of his name and by the power of the blood of Jesus. Because time is gone. Thank you very much for listening. May God the Father and the Son Jesus Christ 
and the Holy Spirit give you grace and peace. Goodbye.